Hi everybody, I'm Bill Sanders and this is Watch Art Sci, the art and science of watch collection. Uh, what I'd like to do today is to talk about a watch that has a, a movement that was designed in part by a top watchmaker. Uh, this is just what happened with mine. This is a watch by Chanel. But uh, Romain Gauthier was the guy who was involved in making the movement, and so it became a very special watch to me. And it was a little pricey, <laughs> to be sure. Now, what I found was another watch. It was relatively uh, approachable. It was under five thousand uh, dollars. Some less, less than that. Uh, some higher than that, but. It is a watch that I think it would be worth knowing about. Okay, now the story starts with the Venus 175. Uh, this is a, a movement from that was first developed in 1942. It was modified in 1949, and it was retired in 1960. So this is a movement that's been gone a long time. It's a column wheel chronograph, and Maurice Lacroix came out with something called the ML-106 that was a whole lot like the Venus 175, and that was no accident. Uh, what they did was that in 2006, Andrea Strayer, uh, uh, Strayler was asked by Maurice Lacroix to, to produce a movement that looked like the Venus 175 caliber. And so he did. He, there was so here you have uh, Maurice Lacroix is not known for its high horology, but they really make excellent watches. I have one uh, of their watches, and one of the things that I I found about it, it was extremely well made. Now the one I have has a Jacquet 736 movement which is more an idiosyncrasy on my part because I, I collect watches with that particular movement in it. And, but the other movements they have are ETA based and similarly, but this was the uh, 106, the ML 106 was to be their, their watch, I mean their movement, and uh, they wanted it to not be your other typical chronograph, but they wanted something that was unique, and then they they wanted Andreas Steller, uh, Striller to help them develop it. And this is what they came up with. They came up with what they called uh, the Maurice Lacroix Masterpiece Le Chronograph. This chronograph, I'm not a chronograph fan, I can tell you right away, but <laughs> just, uh, I, they, I don't like all of the stuff on the uh, dial. This one is fine. I mean, it's it's got uh, two sub dials, very clean dial. I like the whole thing about it. Called the ML106, it's hand wound again, like the Venus uh, 175. The frequency is my very favorite, 18,000 semi oscillations per hour. Uh, it has the, it was the in positions after the complete winding and 24 hours operation. So that was uh, adjustment in five positions is is very good. When they say five position, that means one up, one to this side, one to the crown down and so on and so forth, the five different ones. Okay, uh, it has a, a glue deer coiled balance uh, wheel on it. And uh, as you can see, if we go back here and look at the balance wheel, it's got a nice big balance wheel. I happen to be someone who likes big balance wheels. Why do I like big balance wheels? The bigger balance wheels are steadier. They have, they, the inertia keeps them at a steadier pace. Um, swan neck uh, precision adjustment to it uh, for, uh, I guess, regulator adjustment. Uh, a KIF shock uh, protection, polished steel pallet, escapement wheel, uh, the polished steel pallet and escapement wheel. 
the Navaflex uh, mainspring. I, there's a, it just it's just well done. I mean, when you when you look at all of the things that it has that circular uh, Cote de Genève perlage, um, gold plated uh, false settings. I mean, there's um, it just like I said, <laughs> and but these you can find these. They're a big watch, about forty five millimeters. Some of these are not very popular in Asia because Asia, uh, often the Asian users prefer a smaller dial. Uh, so 45 millimeters may work for you, it may not, uh, but it's, 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 a, it's a watch, I think, that is certainly lo worth looking at, especially one if you'd like a watch that has an AHCI quality watchmaker working on the movement for you and this one i said like i said i found these for under five thousand dollars you have to look around uh, maybe you have to do a little bargaining i found some other ones were way over that but um anyway if you have one i'd like to hear from you uh if you and i'd also like just to hear your general opinion about uh this watch and uh, it's an opportunity to subscribe if you like. And until next time, this is Bill Sanders for Watch Art Sci, the art and science of watch collection.